Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, yes, it's Street Stomper here, and I'm coming back over here from my other channel, as you can see on my desktop, Evil Gaming. I wanted to chat with you guys about uh, an ordeal that I had uh, regarding MSI pre-built computers. So, I ended up buying uh, one originally way back uh, in the beginning of December, and was constantly having issues with this thing. Uh, kept crashing, blue screening, wouldn't load, just constantly switch it out, got another one, same, very similar issue, not quite the same, but very similar, and then um, it actually happened to me uh, five more times, actually six more times technically, and um, I finally got frustrated and built my own, so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about, about bu buying pre-built versus buying a custom build. So what I ended up doing was uh, pricing out my own specs uh, and it wasn't much more than what I paid for the pre-built. It was a hundred, actually technically a couple hundred more because I had to buy a keyboard. A keyboard doesn't, doesn't come with a custom. So, But let me tell you, I got exactly what I wanted for not much more money and so far zero issues like I went water cooled I went with a faster processor a better GPU a better motherboard a much better case I mean I got to pick the case I wanted so it was uh, it was way better but I'm gonna jump into a game here and uh, we'll uh, we'll continue talking about this so what basically what my it's not really a rant but kind of is a rant so I reached out to MSI regarding this issue and uh, I'll be honest, it's almost like they didn't give a damn. They they just didn't care. And um, so he, he acknowledged that there was some sort of a problem and wanted me to mail my brand new computer that I just spent that much money on. And my thing to him was like, can you imagine sending this right now? Like, we, we can't get our um, Christmas cards in the mail, let alone get a computer properly delivered and in one piece for crying out loud. So I got frustrated and I finally, it started uh, acting up again on me. My very last one, the GPU started screaming. Like it was so loud I could be on the other side of the room and I could hear it. So, and that's like very minimal load, like a loading screen, like, uh, or a, like on Call of Duty, just the lobby waiting there, it was scream. So that's when I decided, you know what, I'm gonna buy it, so. Or return it, sorry. And I actually wanted a completely different one from um, Best Buy they actually had an Asus one and I thought okay well maybe I'll try that and I got it and I was sitting there one night and I just started pricing things out and I went on uh, newegg.ca and started pricing things out and that's when I made the decision that I'm just gonna build it myself because it's not that much different to get exactly what I want the only downside was I had to wait Right there was. It's not like I could just walk into a store and grab, you know, these components that I wanted. So, I called a local shop, local computer shop, and uh, he had a couple things that I wanted. But I decided to just get him to bring in everything. Let's do everything, and it turned out flawless. I mean, like playing uh, this game here, Mud Runners. I used to get like 50 frames a second on the other computer. And uh, this one gets much more air. I'll open up uh, Afterburner so you can see the frames and whatnot here. So it's like, I mean, you can see just right off the bat, 120 FPS. So it's, it's pretty impressive how much more of a powerful system I got for very little money. Well, granted, I had a lot of headaches leading up to this, but... When I brought it back into the store where I originally purchased it, the day prior to me returning mine, he literally received six of these on returns. And when I bought the original one, so I bought them from two different stores thinking that maybe it was something to do with their shipping or their storage. And when I went to the other store to get uh, to get the other one, I just, I, I asked, you know, if they had issues. And he said, yeah, I've had one back, but he thought maybe it was because of a, um, just somebody bought it not realizing what they were getting right but yeah so long story short I wanted to just say 
do yourself a favor, man. Don't buy a pre-built computer. It is absolutely not worth it. You might get one or two things that you want in that computer. Like you might be getting, okay, you like the case. Well, that's cool. And you might get a good GPU or a D actually not even a good GPU. You're going to get a decent GPU and a decent processor. Well, the ones I was buying had a 2060 RTX 2060 in it. And I was, you know, I was willing to settle for that. That's more than enough for what I need. So I was, I was just doing that. And then when I priced everything out on Newegg, I thought, Hey man, I wonder if I went to like a 3070 or something and, or even a 3080, see what it would be. And it wasn't, I mean, it was more expensive, but like it was, I was like, holy cow, this is insane. And then I went to a 3060, which is still leaps and bounds better. And when the price came in at what it did, I, that's when I was like, order, like, I'm just like, this is what I'm doing. So, and, uh, I had, I had told the guy at the store, like, just get me a 3060 if you can, if you can't, I'll settle for, uh, basically whatever you can get your hands on. Cause I just wanted to be able to edit video stream and, and chat with you guys. So he called me two days later and said he got me a 3060 TI and I, I was pumped. I was like, heck yeah. So, so that was pretty cool. So it kind of worked out in the end, but, um, yeah, what an ordeal, man. Like stay away from the pre-built stuff. And if you don't know how to build one, there's so many places that'll build it and it's so cheap. But like in reality, I don't know much about computers and I, I did this myself. So the only thing I had issues with was my bio settings, but it wasn't even that bad. It took me a little bit of, um, fiddling around, but I figured it out, you know, like it's, not really rocket science so i'm i'm really proud the way this worked i got the uh, core i5 10600k so unlocked cpu i got the uh, asus geforce rtx 3060 ti i got 32 gigs of uh, corsair pro rgb ram it's got a msi b460 torpedo or mag torpedo motherboard a Cooler Master uh, NWE, NWE or MWE, I'm not sure what it is. Um, 750 watt power supply. And the case is a uh, Corsair, I believe it's an H500 or a P500, I can't remember. There's two different variations and I can't remember. I think, I'm pretty sure it's an H500. And hard drives, I mean, that's kind of a consumable, but I've got uh, two 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 terabyte uh, HDDs and two 500 gig Samsung SSDs. And man, let me tell you, I mean, you could see it like on my FPS now, I'm 130 FPS like all day long. And, and I'm on high, I'm on actually ultra settings. So like this is, this is exactly what I wanted in my computer. You know, I wanted something that could run, it's not gonna get hot doing what I want to do and I want to be able to stream and, and chat with you guys so we'll get into that uh, in another video but uh, yeah if you guys are interested and want to chat I'm gonna start doing you know what we'll talk about it right now I'm thinking of setting up streams not not really nightly oh I'm gonna roll my truck oh dang but um, I'm thinking of setting up uh, nightly streams not okay let me rephrase that not really nightly but frequent uh, streams and it'll be a lot you know we'll do some some mud runner we got some uh, BMNG drive some Forza I'm gonna try to keep it uh, to my roots of you know car stuff but I do play uh, Warzone so if anybody wants to play Warzone I mean hit me up it's it's evil gaming is my gamer tag and we'll we can do that so um, yeah I just wanted to to touch base and say that do yourself a favor, stay away from pre-builds. If you have any questions, please feel free, shoot me a message, shoot me an email. My email is always in my description there. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. So I look forward to uh, being able with, to chat with you guys. I don't know why I never thought of putting uh, live streams in here before, but uh, I've been doing it on my other channel and it gets quite a bit of attention. But that one I'm focusing like uh, Fortnite, um, I can't even think of the game. Call of Duty, Minecraft. 
this kind of stuff. This one I'm going to try to keep to my roots, but I will play um, uh, Warzone in this one if you guys want to do that. So, so with that being said, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we're still on track for our giveaway. We still got our giveaway going for our uh, our winch. So we're so close to that. You know, we're at 730 subscribers. And I said, once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we're going to do this. So it's sitting here ready to go, waiting. You know, we don't need that many more subscribers. So help help us get the word out there. Share our channel. You know, subscribe. Leave a comment. That's that's what we need. We need to get this going. And, I, and let me know if you guys are interested in gaming stuff, gaming and tech stuff. Because I, I can post some stuff to this channel. I just didn't want to um, lose you guys as subscribers. So, yeah. So... I'm going to start ranting on and babbling on about nothing. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.